to be bored. So I can get a, to see it from my vantage point. Today we are learning bird and my lovely assistant today is Becky. Um, we're first going to demonstrate a possible fall. So in bird, I find that a common, a common fall in bird will be coming up this way and then the flyer starts to, as they're lifting off, they, their weight comes forward too much this way and the base's wrists are beyond the shoulders here and then you start coming over this way. Now you're about to fall. And to worsen that, a natural instinct for the base to have is to have this protective instinct. Oh my God, I'm, I don't want my flyer to get hurt. So they grab onto their hands and like try to support them down while holding so tight like this death grip on the hands, I'm gonna hurt you. And as they do that, when the flyer falls, they have nothing to land with. Their hands are, are bound by the base's hands. So they eat it right on the head like that. And you can really hurt your shoulder and your, and your, um, your, your neck by coming over this way with the hands bound. So always, bases, don't, don't hold. Help, open support. Support like that. The flyer can hold on as strong as she wants. She can do her own death grip and she can, or he can, the flyer can let go whenever they choose. So keep that in mind. Any which way they fall, if you give it open support, they can fall in on the feet and then use their hands to brace if they want to let go. But the flyer gets to make that decision. So open support. So now we're going to break down how this works. Watch the distance here. The flyer gets close enough to where the base can touch with their hands. If they are too far away, this distance makes it really hard to mount. And if the flyer is too close, coming way close, it also scrunches the base this way. So it's a little too close. What you want to do is get a distance where you can touch the feet here. Everybody's body is different, of course, so play with that. If your flyer is a little shorter, I would say have them come um, a little, little, I don't know actually. Sometimes if a flyer is super tall, you have to reach higher for their hips this way. So maybe you, you can bring them a little closer. And if they're shorter, you can bring them back a little further. I think that should work. Feet right at the hip line. There's a hip bone there. Put the balls of your feet either on the hip bone or the middle part of your feet. If the flyer has a very, uh, if the torso is much heavier than their legs, you want to go a little higher. But for most people, I would say the balls of the feet right around the hip line right there. Parallel with the legs. I'm going to receive my flyer in, bending at the knees, and then pushing on up with my hands and my feet at the same time. Now watch how my wrists are stacked right above my shoulders. So I never bring them beyond, because at this point it's it really hard to bring them back. So that's one technique to be aware of. Two, you can also use your feet to gauge the flyer's weight. Distribute it back or more forward. Watch my toes as I push them back. It brings the flyers back this way. If I ease off of my feet, toe towards me, it brings more weight into the hands here. And what the fly wants to do is straighten the arms, stack their wrists right above their shoulders. That gives a really nice strength. A common mistake is basis will give too much toe and then that doesn't allow the flyer to push into the hands. So ease off of that gas a bit and distribute more of the weight into the hands here so that we have four points of contact and not just two. That's it. If you come down, just gently bend your knees and keep your arms straight. Have a support and push on that. Um, I highly recommend that flyers, before they do any poses or postures on a basis feet, to do that on yoga blocks or on the ground first. Can you comfortably hold a plank um, on the ground before you do that on someone's feet? So just get a pair of blocks. Put them on the ground, pretend their feet. Come on to them and then see if you can hold that position, a bird position like that. Just with your legs up first and then bring your hands up. Just see how long you can hold that. You can comfortably hold that and if you can comfortably fall out of that at this distance before you try that about five feet high. So until next time guys, have fun and play safe.